teacher to o Maasim National High School, Brooks Point, Palawa. My field of specialization is mathematics. Currently, I'm teaching grade 8 mathematics. I live at Maasim, Brooks Point, Palawa. This presentation is in partial fulfillment of the requirements in English 310 Advanced English for Academic Purposes. One of the language skill requirements of this course is the development of oral communication skills through oral research, presentation, and that is primarily the reason why I'm doing this recorded video of oral presentation. I am proud to present to you my thesis statement. Classroom management effectiveness can affect student academic performance. For me, it is very important to manage our classroom very well for the benefit of our learners to have conducive learning area. Having this, a big help for them to engage in the class. Participating in the class discussion, they are excited to come to school. They are motivated to attend our class because they are comfortable and more relaxed. Teachers who organize and manage classroom properly will assess students' learning. The role of teachers in developing cognitive and social emotional development among students cannot be ignored. Effective classroom management set a foundation for this development. It has been found that very little learning occurs in this organized and chaotic classroom. I choose this topic because as a public junior high school teacher, I am very much particular with classroom management, whether our facilities are not enough as compared to the private school. I employ most effective instruction, strategies by making a wise choice. There are cases for good room arrangement. One, be sure students can see and monitor easily by the teachers. Two, use teaching materials and student supplies readily accessible. Three, arrangement of student desk, teacher's table, and all facilities inside the classroom must be ordered in place. It will be given a chance to further study these portables. As of this time, I wish that I acquire more information regarding classroom management that I have not used already in my teaching profession. I want new knowledge will suit the individual needs of my learners and that help me to enhance my ability to facilitate learning and impart new knowledge to the learners because I want to be more effective facilitator. If I give a chance to work on this proposal, I am very much willing to conduct research put an extra effort to finish this study. Find more resources to help the review of literature be consistent, reliable, valid, and accurate to the reader. Spend financial support and time. And if I've done this research, it will be beneficial to me, to the learners, to my colleagues, to other teachers and educators. Shockland 2016 proposes the design of a classroom management plan is based on the arrangement of classroom environment, attainment of social skills for development, effective relationship among students and between students and teachers, adapting teaching strategies and developing professional skills. Tiga Noria 2017 point out way for faith, play and cooperation is strengthened. Children learn to express their feelings positively as they can. Learn to think and listen and they express more communicative abilities. Person and Seven Son 2017 conclude that a poorer classroom climate may have as a result children's disruptive behavior and it is treat to the educational environment and to children's school performance. Brayman et al. 2016 state that some teachers choose from the beginning of the school year to put their children in a row because they think they will be a more successfully layout resulting in more tranquil classroom but later on they choose to organize 
their students in a small teams in order to cooperate with each other. Lupas in uh, 2017, from his recent studies, it is suggested that this in the class should be put in a certain, promoting the team learning and the socialization of the children. That will be the base for creating positive school climate, promoting academic results, and minimizing the appearance of problematic behavior. Who in Lin 2016 mentioned that the teacher should apply properly all the communication through different direction and give proper feedback to become effective managers and facilitators. Andre Du and Andre Du 2017 suggest that as far as the children are concerned, the social, cultural, economical background, family, ability, sex, and the age of are the parameters that can influence their behavior. Sir Napis 2015, to be more specific about things, while children grow up in their relation changes, they become more critical to their parents, to, the, to their teachers, they need acceptance. Papa Nastasio 2016 mentioned that as far as the teachers are concerned, the basic elements that affect students' behavior are teachers' personality, teaching style, classroom organization, active teaching time, and implementation of rules. Summer Bell 2014 argued that guardians and others were as yet not content with the manner in which discipline were being focused in school, so again, classroom management changed in school. Towards the finish of the 19th century, students were isolated by their aides are opposed by how many years it were in school. This got known as the regulatory control where educator presented diverse strategies in administrative order. Students that were acting mischievously in class were still being revoked by a wooden power and different devices. Ellis and Todd 2015 state that there are some external factors that affect classroom management. Those factors are school philosophy and policy. Cola and Cola 2017 mentioned that other classroom management constitute factors that assure recent study, the discipline, and positive classroom climate, with the teachers contributing to the development of interpersonal relationships is strengthening group collaboration, adapting positive behavior. As such, this study provides an additional insight into classroom management in relation to classroom environment, classroom settings, different teaching strategies, classroom rules and regulations, and other factors. Furthermore, this study does not provide deeper understanding about classroom management. In connection with student behavior or attitude, the researchers seek to prove that student behavior or attitude has a great effect in the result of student academic performance. Once again, my thesis statement, classroom effectiveness can affect students' academic performance. If my thesis statement will be approved, I wish to conduct it in our school because I believe it is most appropriate since our respondent is our selected teachers and student at Maasim National High School, Vision of Palawan, Brooks Point, has the characteristic you are looking for. As I end, I want to leave this quotation. Effective teachers have a classroom management plan with all the procedures necessary for a classroom to run consistently and smooth for learning to take place by Harry and Rosemary Wong. That's all. Thank you for listening and I am very much willing to appreciate your suggestion and recommendation.